I mean, your performance was sensational. Thank Take you. us through the first hour for you here at Music Fest. What That's was it really like? cool. I feel like it's like a, it definitely feels like I needed to keep my endurance up a little bit more. <laughs> Usually, I'm playing inside and uh, different different temperatures. Yeah. So all of a sudden, I was like, oh, you know, you can tell when like literally when your electrolytes are starting to get low, you like go for the water. <laughs> you're like, okay. But I was really happy. I thought my voice was in good, strong fighting shape yeah. today. And we're gonna do it again. Love so it. this is the most sporty I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> I'm not a sports person. <laughs> It's okay, we are sports people, okay, so we can help you with that <laughs> if you need it. But I know you said this is your first music fest, yeah. but tell us a little bit about your history musically, how you got started singing and, and your, you know, over the past few years. Thank you. Uh, I started singing when I was like very little, probably like six or seven, and, and, and started writing little songs, and then more seriously started writing music uh, probably when I was like 13, 14, and recorded a few songs when I was like 19, 20. And one of the songs uh, was on a TV show called Criminal Minds, and it did very well. And then I got signed, and then I toured, and then we just keep writing songs and putting out music. And I and writing music is like my favorite thing in the whole world, so that's really fun for me to be able to do this. So Criminal Minds, I've never heard of that one. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. It's not real popular. Uh, no. How do you feel you've grown as a as a singer songwriter, you know, through the years? I feel like the main thing that I am most proud of myself is that. Uh, I become a much better editor when it comes okay. to like writing my music. Like yeah. I'm way less precious and I'm more like what is serving the song. Okay. And that's really important to me. Yeah. And that's something when I was younger that I'd be like, no, I like that part. And I'm like, is it adding to the story? Yeah. And I'm a way more like meticulous yeah. writer now that I'm a little older. And with singing, I think it's just a muscle. You know, you have to like, you have to practice. Every, yeah. It's a practice even today when I'm on stage, even though it's a performance, it's also me practicing and remembering like, okay, what's it like to sing in this kind of weather condition or in, under this yeah. kind of circumstances? Sometimes you're more nervous, sometimes you're less nervous. It's always like testing. Are you like going to stay strong no matter what? You yeah. know, it's pretty fun. Though. Wow. <laughs> what's the creative process like for you to, to put pen to paper and write the songs and how long does it take maybe to, to get one or two done? So I do write every day, and usually it's a very organic process. I like I think writing every day helps keep like your brain kind of open to letting it come through, and seeing kind of what's been rumbling around in there, what kind of wants to rattle out. Uh, but more recently, it's been interesting because I'm making a record right now, and I will like initially get a rush of ideas. So I'll sit down with my guitar, I'll press record on my iPhone, and just sort of let everything that comes out come out. But then I start the editing process. <laughs> and sometimes they come out rather fully formed. Like there was three songs in this set that like kind of popped out and I didn't touch. And they're and I'm very proud of those songs. But I also write every day. So it's like to get one of those ones, it took like seven months to write all these. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like, but I'm, I am really proud of my editing process. And like there's a new song on my, on my new record uh, that I think I worked like, I realized I worked like, I don't know, it can be like 20 hours on or something, but it, I'm really proud of it, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth it yeah, if you're I, proud of it, right? Ab absolutely, yeah. and, and it clearly shows, I mean, tremendous performance. Thank We're you. looking forward to more from Lily at three o'clock. As far you. as musical influences yeah. for you go, um, you know, who, who's part of the influence department for Lily Kershaw? I really love Paul Simon. I really love Simon and Garfunkel. Um, of course, like Joni Mitchell, Elton John, like I just love the lyrics, although Elton had a partner who wrote the lyrics. Actually, he probably contributed a lot as well. Bob Dylan, just anyone who's like a lyricist. I'm Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen's one of my yeah, all-time okay. favorites. Ravenous for the words, so that's what I like. <laughs> one set down, one to go for you one, here at yeah, Music yeah. Fest. What can we expect from the second one? You know, some more originals and, and anything that we, anything you're hoping to play, or does it depend on the crowd for you? It kind of depends on the crowd. Like, I'll talk more, I'll tell more personal stories. Maybe what we'll tell, we'll bring out more acoustic. It just kind of depends on like what everyone's vibe is. I feel like we got a little bit of the afternoon heat. This is so much fun, by the way. <laughs> this is the most sporty I've ever felt. We got a little bit of the afternoon heat coming in, and uh, and I could tell that people maybe like something mellow, or maybe they came to. Yeah. and just kind of listen and with this next one though I might be telling a few stories playing a few uh, more unreleased songs so we'll see love that I have a Great selfish que I have yeah. a selfish question to ask okay. because I need to know the title of the song that referenced New York and Times Square because that song was awesome that's one of my favorite songs that I've written sorry yeah. I hope that's okay to say that it's called Myth of New York okay. it's off my most recent record Arcadia and I'm really proud okay. of that song so thank you no I thought thank you I thought it was great thank I mean it, it, it stood out it was it was clear that it was a, a your story like it was clear it was your song so you. yeah I thought that stood out so selfishly needed to know that so Thank I can you. go and, and look that up immediately uh, the other question I wanted to ask yeah. um, you're playing with someone you've never played with before oh, yeah is Chris is amazing yeah, yeah. Uh, so how difficult is that because it seems seamless for you guys on stage well, we've had like two rehearsals I think <laughs> so he's amazing though for just sort of jumping in 
I have another keyboardist who's like toured with me a lot in the past. He wasn't available. And I was like, but I'm still gonna play Music Fest. <laughs> So I called around, I got a recommendation. He came over, he had like a little audition and I was like, you're hired. So then we had two rehearsals That's and now great. we're here. I kept being like, okay, so you're gonna like fly to Newark. You're gonna come to Bethlehem. Like, <laughs> they, like we're gonna hang out. I hope we are like you, we're friends. Like we, he's so sweet. He get, we've gotten on like gangbusters. Aww. Yeah, he's a really talented, very professional young man. <laughs> awesome. We, we listened to some of your music before we knew we were going to see you. I know As It Seems was one that we talked about that we yeah. really liked. What's your favorite to perform right now? Maybe that changes with the wind and, and where you are, but is there one that you really love to perform? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I love, I love playing Now and Then. I love playing As It Seems. That's like one that actually, it was the first song I ever put out and it kind of fell off the roster for a little while, probably because, you know, you get a little like sick of playing the same song but it's so nostalgic and I'm so proud of like the songwriter that I was at that time and like how far I've come and I wish I could like go back and tell her and be like it's gonna be great like you're gonna be all good like but at the time she was very sad when she wrote that song so like almost for her I like to perform it and be like look like we're time traveling I'm like waving down the line to you being like we're good everyone liked it well, it's so cool to be able to share yeah. that story too with your audience and maybe the aspiring musicians yeah. or, or yeah. any other talent that people are trying to kind of get out and hone that's that's a really cool message that's really sweet thank you I appreciate that Lily thank you so thank much you. for joining us go grab another cup of water yeah. try and cool I'm off so a little excited. bit we're really looking thank forward you. to your second thank set you. You thank you so, so much sweet. for Have joining us so nice thank meeting you. you good luck